Do you want to uninstall Windows Subsystem for Linux completely from your Windows 11? In this video, you will learn how to uninstall Ubuntu and WSL completely from your Windows 11 operating system. You have installed and used Windows Subsystem for Linux, but now for some reason you want to uninstall it. If you just remove the WSL from your system, it will not be completely uninstalled. You might have installed several components with the WSL, like Ubuntu, Debian, and others. So, I am going to show you step-by-step -step uninstallation guide that will remove the WSL completely from your system. The first step in this guide is to uninstall the Linux components from Windows 11. For that, click on the Start menu and Open Settings. On the left sidebar, click on the Apps, and then click on Installed Apps from here. Now search for all Linux distributions you have installed, like Ubuntu, Debian, and others. For example, I have installed two different versions of Ubuntu, so I will have to uninstall both. Click on this three-dot menu, select Uninstall, confirm your action, and then follow the on-screen instructions to remove it. After uninstalling the distributions, let's uninstall the WSL components from the system. Open the settings, go to the System tab, scroll down, and select System Components. Here you will find Windows Subsystem for Linux, but unfortunately, you won't find the Uninstall button here. You can only reset or repair in case the component is not working correctly. To uninstall it, we need to use Windows PowerShell. So right-click on the Start menu to open the Start menu context menu. Here, select the Terminal Admin. Click on the Yes button in the UAC prompt. You will see the Windows PowerShell. Copy the command from the video description and paste it here. Then hit Enter button. It will remove the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, from your PC. To confirm that let's check the system components again, you can see the WSL is gone. The next thing you need to do is remove the WSL from the turn on and off features. Open the computer settings, go to the system tab, click on the optional features, scroll down and click on more Windows features. Here scroll down and locate Windows Subsystem for Linux, deselect this option, next deselect Windows Hypervisor Platform, and if you are not running Virtual Machine on your PC, you can deselect that also. But I will be working on a different Virtual Machine, so I am not deselecting that. Now click on the OK button. The Windows will remove the deselected features. It will take some time to clean. After that, click on the Restart Now button to restart your PC. After the restart, you will see that the Windows subsystem for Linux is completely removed along with Ubuntu and other distributions.